Okay, so one of my number one questions has been um, how to make the rosette jewelry and flowers. So I thought that I would just do a little tutorial because um, it's kind of hard to describe in words and it might be easier for people to just see me make one. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing you do is you just have to take a fat quarter of fabric and you cut about a one inch strip off of the fabric, just like this. And then you take your glue gun, you put a little dab in the center like that, you fold it over, and then you want to keep your fabric folded over and you want to roll it. So you're going to fold it and you're going to roll. And you're going to do this probably about 10 times or so. So you're folding and you're rolling, you're folding and you're rolling. You know, you can do it. It doesn't really matter. Just this is the center of your flower, so this is going to be pretty nice and tight, as tight as you can make it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So it will look like this when you're done in a little center. And then you just add a little bit of glue to it like that, and you fold it towards the center of the flower. So just fold it like this, and that kind of holds it so that it won't unroll as you're twisting. Okay, so now you're going to take your fabric and you're going to keep it folded and you're just going to twist and hold and then twist and hold and do this around your flower like this and then every time you make one um, round we'll go once around the flower you're going to put a little bit of glue on just so that it holds it in place so and you, so it's kind of looking like this and then you're going to fold it and hold, keep it, keeping it folded in half, and fold it and hold, and you do this all the way around like this, and then you put another dab of glue on. So now, after you've done this, you're going to come to the end of your fabric, and this is actually two one inch strips on a fat quarter, so I've combined two strips to make it a little bit bigger. Then you're just going to glue down the very end of your material like this. So you make it into a little circle, it looks like a flower. And then you're going to take a piece of felt and you are going to put glue all over the back of your flower. Put it on the felt. It can be any color felt because you're going to cut around this and then you're not going to see the felt. So put it on and then you just cut around the flower. And if you want to make something with more than one rosette, then you're going to place all of the flowers on the felt and then cut around the whole thing. So if you're making like a three rosette necklace or something, then you put all the rosettes on at once and then cut around all of the rosettes. But this is just going to be a pin. So this is just a one rosette pin. So there it is. Looks like this. And then the back. And then you are just going to get a little, a little back like this and put it on with some glue. And you have yourself a little rosette pin. And that's how you do it. It's really easy. And if you're going to make earrings, you can just use the one inch strip, just the one strip of material and it makes about half the size or a ring and then if you use two rosettes and it makes a cute pin or you can make it like a three rosette necklace or there's just like a headband, it could be all kinds of things. It's a great way to make gifts. So thanks and goodbye. Here we are in my craft room and we're making some little rosettes to give to as a thank you gift to our guests for our show. So aren't they cute? We've made a bunch of them. And Heather's made a little spin-off on the traditional with these cute <laughs> little braided rosettes. And they're faster to make too. And so she's going to do a tutorial on her site pretty soon for it. <laughs> so you can catch them over on Dollar Shore Crafts. But in the meantime, that's what we're doing today. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>